Just two goals away from a thousand all time as we get this one underway tonight. Along the river, it's Indy 11 and the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Mertz playing it out wide. Is a cutting in. And to arriving. An absolute world. He got Indy 11 on the board first. They've since added a second. And the closest Pittsburgh has come tonight to finding a goal. That ball was actually going in and he somehow got a bit of a bend on it. Curls it past. Donez was still up there, but his header is over the bar. Here's Etu. Came on at half time and he looked really sharp. One of Rigon Jr. Quick around the edge of the box. It looked like there was a couple of little half chances and then nothing since then for him. Nothing to work with. No good balls into the box for him. Has missed the playoffs every year since 2019. Trying to get back to the playoffs. Three points tonight would put them above the playoff line. This could put it away. He won that Pittsburgh had conceded three goals in two straight games. 3-2 loss against Miami and a 3-3 draw against Charleston Battery as Jamali Waite pulls this one in. The goals they've taken have been superb. The way they've defended has been excellent. He's a struggle to cause any problems to a very solid Indy 11 defense. 3 0 in Pittsburgh! Pittsburgh Riverhound style, but beautiful ball out of defense. And it comes out to the substitute Douglas Martinez. Head up, puts the ball in. You can see Ordonez chasing back. They were just too stretched, Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And they were punished in the end. Well done, Indy 11. So it's just one of those games where once you've watched the video and you've gone over it, you just want to, you know, forget about it and move on. Bergon Jr. trying to flick this along. You haven't mentioned his name for a while. He came on at half time and he looked really sharp. First home loss of the one season. Two. One main. Great first touch and it's a great finish as well. And Pittsburgh have pulled one back. Maybe it's not quite done yet. 3-1. And 9.99 on the count. On him earlier in the game. A good play down that right-hand side. Marky Barrow, long ball. Good first touch from the big man up front. And good finish as well. They're saying that there's a little bit of a shove. First home loss of the season.